Hi, and welcome to Your Future, Your Finances. I'm your host, Brian Kuhn. We have a great segment for you today. If you are in the communication business and want to get better, uh, or in sales, or work for a business uh, that is in that industry, we have some great information for you. We're speaking with Chad Prinky of Newberger & Company. Welcome to the show. Thank you. No, I appreciate you having me on, Brian. Sure. Tell us a little bit about uh, yourself and then uh, Newberger & Company as a what, a what you call a growth skills company. What does that mean? Yeah, so... Um I, the Newberger and Company as a whole, we help organizations to dominate their space, mm -hmm. uh, whatever that means to that company, right? So yep. um, sometimes that's, uh, you know, a specific uh, industry, sometimes that's a specific geography within the industry, sometimes that's uh, really, um, you know, a brand presence or an awareness that they're trying uh, to create. So um, what we help organizations to do is, um, to establish the skills that they're going to need around leadership, management, uh, sales, and client retention, um, which ultimately will help them to grow. Mm -hmm. Right. So when when we say a growth skills company, what we mean is um, we work with organizations at all those levels to ensure that their people uh, have the tools and skills that they require. Um, to accomplish whatever their whatever their goal is, which you know is we usually generalize dominate your space, whatever mm -hmm. that means. And that might not necessarily be financial, like what I do. You know, we map out people's lives from a cash flow right. standpoint. You you <coughs> map out uh, their future as a business. Yeah. So, you know, the, in in a lot of ways, I think there's some parallels between uh, what you do with. Um, you know, individuals and their finances, and what we do with organizations and their their you know finances. It, you know, quite frankly, um, what we don't do, just to be clear, is we don't do anything on the you know sort of back end on the accounting side or you know that sort of keep it side of the business. But the make it side of the business is really where we play. <laughs> All right. Um, and uh, uh, but yeah, similar to you, right? So so uh, you start with somebody's retirement goal. Uh -huh. And somebody might say, uh, you know, when I retire, I want to have $2 million. Uh -huh. And nice. very quickly, you assess that would be nice. <laughs> Can we retire with $2 million? <laughs> um, <Yeah>. But, <laughs> but uh, uh, then very quickly, what you start to assess is a series of things, right? So you start to look at what? You tell me you're the expert, but probably what do you make? Right. What's your debt? Yep. Um, right. Uh, uh, how much you have so far? Uh, how much risk you, you are taking or willing to take? That's right. Like that. So a series of things that are going to help you to determine how you're going to design a plan to arrive at that $2 million, um, uh, assuming that's the, the goal that they start with. And then what that maps down to, and this is where it's really crucial, and you know this um, uh, as, you know, better than I do on the, on the personal side, but you know, the same for businesses. What's really crucial is that they, all, all of these um, uh, shorter-term goals get really reduced down into behavior. Yeah. Meaning, um, what do I do when I get my paycheck at the beginning of the month? <laughs> right? And what and how do, do I manage I that money? It? Do I spend it right? How much do I spend? How much do I give? How much do I keep? How much where do I save it? Mm -hmm. In what pots, right? But it really boils down to um, behavior. Mm -hmm. It boils down to the, the very specific things that I can do. It's very hard for me to do two million dollars in savings by the time I retire. But it's very easy to make a rule that I only eat out once a month. Mm -hmm. Yep. All right. It's very easy to set a budget and and design that budget in a way uh, uh, that you know is you know, it's, it's so myopic. It's like very focused on a month, but that behavior that month, com, you know, compounded. Mm -hmm can equal $2 million. So we do the same thing for businesses. It's it, when an organization, let's say an organization wanted to move from $5 million to $10 million over the course of five years, uh, on the on the growth side, what we're doing is saying, okay, what's your average deal size? Uh, uh, you know, what's your current client, uh, you know, look like? How many current customers do you have? What growth opportunity exists within that business? Uh, how many new customers must you attract? Should you increase your average deal size? Fill in the blank. And our goal is to reduce things down down to a point where a salesperson knows, as an example, I have to um, call 25 people today mm -hmm. because that's what they can control. Yeah. And sometimes they may not actually realize that that's the goal until somebody like yourself comes in and, and explains it to them. Well, that's it. Again, it's the same thing. If I'm a salesperson, I'm saying my goal for the year is a million dollars in sales. It's hard for me to do a million dollars in sales. 
but it's very easy for me to make 25 calls today, go to one networking event this week, and so on and so forth. And the same thing you know, uh, uh, correlates with managers. How many people should you be hiring? How many people should you be interviewing? Uh, what should your pipeline look like in terms of folks that you want to bring on? Mm -hmm. uh, same thing holds with account managers and the folks who are you know, assigned to making sure the customer's happy. How many customer review meetings should you be having? How many, you know, what should our average survey scores be if we know we're going to be successful? The point is simply this. We want to make sure, and, and, and I think you know, any, any company, if you're, you're watching this and you're a part of an organization where yeah, you know, this be. stuff sounds ap applicable, mm -hmm. um, uh, do your very best to do the same as, as you want to help people do with their finances, which is map it back to something you can control today. Mm -hmm. And um, so uh, when we say we're a growth, growth skills company, what we're trying to do is give people control, mm -hmm. uh, you know, of, of what they need to do today mm -hmm. uh, to accomplish whatever that end game is. Mm -hmm. And you help with like how they communicate uh, with their prospects? Yeah. Um, so it, whether it's with their prospects or um, with existing clients or frankly with spouses um, but uh, communication skills are sort of universal um, and uh, what we absolutely start with the concept that people need to connect uh, with the person across from them which means we're working on things like uh, personality types we're working on things like the impact of tonality and body language in a conversation and um, and ultimately uh, trying to again give people control of their personal presence, mm -hmm. and um, and I, I I can't think of a situation where that's not helpful. Uh, yeah, absolutely. I, I can't think of, a and situation. a lot to learn about it too that isn't really taught. I, I know I'm learning every day about it. <laughs> right? So uh, there are lots and lots of books about it, and I yeah. could start spouting off a list, but um, yeah. it, it's it's a powerful life skill. Yep. Fantastic. We got to take a break already. Uh, we'll be right back with Chad Prinky of Newberger and Company, a growth skills uh, company, business consulting and leadership training. Uh, we'll be right back. You're watching uh, Your Future, Your Finances. I'm your host, Brian Kuhn.